Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Jan Bisho, also known as Jan of Kaduna. In this channel, we talk about environmental sustainability and climate action, climate change from a Nigerian point of view. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the remarkable achievements that Kenya has done when it comes to sustainable development and how Nigeria, my home country, can be able to learn from them. So if you're interested in climate action, environmental sustainability, sustainable development, and all that good stuff, stay tuned because this video is for you. Public service announcement. If you're hearing a noise in the background, that's the fan because it's hot and I'm sweat. I'm going to start sweating if the fan is not on. So just, just if you're hearing that the sound at the background, it's the fan and I have to keep it on. Thank you. Kenya and Nigeria, two vibrant African countries with rich cultures and diverse landscapes. While they might be different in a whole lot of ways, they have one thing in common, to build a sustainable future for the progress of their people. So today I'm going to share valuable lessons that Nigeria can learn from Kenya when it comes to sustainable development. Yes, Nigeria is way bigger than Kenya. It also has a whole, the population, in population size, we are way more than Kenya's population, but still, we, are, we have some similar circumstances that affect us as African countries, and I believe that we could be able to learn some things from Kenya and replicate it in Nigeria. Boom! We are on a short path to sustainable development. So what are those things that Nigeria could learn from Kenya? Number one, harnessing renewable energy. Kenya has made remarkable strides in renewable energy, especially through solar and wind power. They, they have this big wind farm, that is the, um, I'll write the name, I can't remember the name right now, I'll write it on the screen. They have this big wind farm in Kenya, which are using to harness wind power. And they are very big on solar power, solar power generation too, too in Kenya. Solar mini grids and all that too. By embracing clean energy sources, Kenya has been able to reduce its carbon footprint significantly because they are looking at other sustainable ways of generating power for their country. At the same time, improving energy access within its country. This is something I wish that Nigeria can be able to tap into and learn from because Nigeria has a big energy access problem. A whole lot of Nigerians do not have access to power. And by generating power from cleaner energy sources, it will help to not only reduce the strain on the reduce the strain on the national grid of the national grid and instead for local communities to be able to generate their own electricity through this solar mini grid and also harnessing other cleaner energy sources for Nigeria. This will help to ensure that Nigeria has a sustainable future because a country without <laughs> power the economy is always going to be turning on its own because for us to ensure that our economy is very vibrant and, and to ensure that our economy is very vibrant, we have to ensure that we tackle our energy access problems and ensure that we have and ensure that we have sustainable energy sources. So Nigeria, take note. Number two, sustainable agricultural practices. Kenya's agricultural practices has paved the way for sustainable food production in its country. From organic farming to innovative irrigation techniques, Kenya has increased its agricultural productivity while also preserving the environment. Nigeria, we need to do better. Nigeria, we are, Nigeria's economy is a very, Nigeria economy is very agricultural based or focused. We are not adopting these innovative farming techniques, climate smart agriculture and all that to ensure that we are able to produce more food and not only produce more food for us to eat within the country but also produce more food so that we can be able to export and grow our economy through agriculture. Nigeria can feed a significant portion of the world if only we are able to adopt these innovative farming practices. Number three, waste management and recycling. Kenya's commitment to waste management has gone a long way and we can see that with the ban on single-use plastics in the country. And significantly, it has helped a lot with reducing plastic pollution in Kenya. 
in Nigeria is the other way around. Plastic pollution continues to thrive in Nigeria, especially with our green population. The waste management systems that we have in place is not enough to cater to the waste that we generate. So by embracing sustainable waste management systems, recycling, improving recycling, and also adopting recycling in, across the country, and also adopting and embracing circular economy, Nigeria can be able, Nigeria can be able, power just went off, Nigeria can be able to manage its ways and at the same time improving its economy through the circular economy. Four, conservation and wildlife protection. <laughs> if you talk about Kenya, one of the first things people talk about Kenya is their wildlife, their safaris and the, the way that they have been able to improve their tourism and attract the world to Kenya through its tourism. Kenya's breathtaking wildlife reserves and national parks are testament to how they have been able to conserve their wildlife and also protect their wild and also protect the ecosystem. By implementing strict wildlife protection measures, Kenya has been able to make their country a top ecotourism hub in the world. Nigeria can be able to emulate this approach being that a lot of wildlife are currently being endangered in the country because we do not have strong wildlife protection measures and Nigeria can also become a tourism hub if only they can be able to learn from Kenya because our parks our zoos are <laughs> nothing to write home about sadly and that's because we do not put a lot of importance to protecting um, and that's because we do not put a lot of importance into protecting the biodiversity in Nigeria. Number five, environmental education and awareness. Kenya has been able to prioritize environmental education in its schools and communities. This helps to bring awareness among its people and also inspire them to bring about innovations to help protect the environment. Nigeria can also follow suit by integrating environmental education within our school's curriculum. And this will also help to inspire young people, young children, and this will also help to inspire young people, children, to be able to bring about innovative technologies, innovative techniques, and also for them to able, and also for them to easily adopt sustainable practices because this has been taught to them from their early years through to through throughout their educational throughout their educational career and this will help a whole lot of Nigerians to be aware of the dangers of harming the environment and what they can be able to do and what they can be able to do sustainably than what they already do right now. This will really go a long way in solving a whole lot of environmental issues in Nigeria. No matter who you are, each of us have a role to play in ensuring that we have a sustainable future in our respective countries. So whether you're in Kenya or in Nigeria, you will all have a role to play. By adopting these lessons from Kenya, I know that it will go a long way in helping Nigeria develop sustainably. Kenya still has a long way to go. It, it is not there yet, but they are doing a whole lot of things right. And that's why a lot of African countries look up to Kenya when it comes to sustainable development. And even Nigeria can look up to them, learn from them, and implement these things within our country. So, <laughs> if you've watched this video up to now, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share this video with other people that you know would learn a whole lot from this. Remember that you can be the change that you want to see. Jan of Kaduna, signing out.